Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a brand new product from our good friends at O-Ray. It's the UKM-404 4 Input 4 Output USB Matrix. This product makes it incredibly easy for you to select from up to four different USB devices and then digitally connect those peripherals to up to four different computers using the buttons on the front of the unit, the included remote control, or even through software. It's the perfect accessory if you're working from home because you can easily connect up your computer and your laptop and even two more computers to the device and then connect up four different peripherals, things like keyboard and mouse combinations, maybe a microphone or a camera, or even a USB storage device. And because it's a matrix, you can decide which of those devices is connected to any one of those computers by tapping a button on the front of the unit. There's no reboots required. You won't have to worry about plugging and unplugging cables. The product fully supports the very latest USB 3.0 Generation 1 standard and is completely compatible with older versions of USB as well. Now before I get too deep into the review, I'd like to start with an unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit. And then I'll take a closer look at the matrix. I'll explain the connections and indicators so you understand how to use it. I'll do a quick demonstration as well to show you just how simple it'll be to use with your own equipment. And then finally, I'll come back and point out a few things that I really like about this product that you can use to compare it to other products you may be considering. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the USB matrix, a set of brackets you can use to mount this up off the ground and out of the way. You'll also find four rubber feet that fit on the bottom of the unit in case you put it down at a counter and they'll protect that surface. You'll find a single DC, it's a 24 volt, one and a quarter amp power supply. This end plugs into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it which plugs into the back of the unit as well as a locking collar. And this will provide all the power you'll need for operation. In the kit, you'll also find an infrared remote control, which makes it really easy to make your selections, as well as a dedicated cable where you can connect this directly to a computer and make those selections through software. You'll also find a connection cable. It's a USB-A to USB-A. This end plugs into your unit. This end plugs into the back of the product. And that's how you make a connection to your computer. And again, you can connect four computers up. Finally, you'll find an infrared extension block, and this is really handy because if you locate this inside of a cabinet or in a wiring closet someplace, you can't use the remote control because it has to see the front of the unit. So this allows you to plug this into the back and locate this outside of that wiring closet to pick up those remote control signals. Also included is a full instruction manual that explains everything you could possibly want to know about this product, including connection diagrams, specifications, programming guides, and other important information. So always read through that manual anytime you buy a new product, because you're going to get a lot of value out of the product by understanding how it works. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at the unit, I'll do the demonstration, and then I'll come back with a few final thoughts to point out some things, again, that I really like about this unit. The UKM-404 features a full metal enclosure, so you know it's incredibly durable and it's going to last a long time. On the side of the unit, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let the heat that develops during operation escape, as well as mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this up off the ground and out of the way. On the front of the unit, starting on the left, you'll find a power indicator. The minute you add power to the unit, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test, where it's checking all the electronics to make sure everything's working okay. When it passes that test, it'll light that LED, letting you know the module's functional and ready to use. To the right of that are four buttons that are labeled device one, two, three, and four. The device is actually the USB device you have plugged into the back, and there were four LED indicators for each of the devices, and these let you know which computer it's currently connected to. And you can move between those computers by tapping that button. So because it's a matrix, you can have all four of the devices attached to the same computer at the same time, or you can vary them depending on your needs. On the rear of the unit, you'll find all your connections. On the left-hand side, there are four full-size USB-A ports on the top and four more USB host ports on the bottom. The top ports connect to your peripherals, like your microphone, your keyboard, maybe your external drive, and you can connect this one up to a camera. And the bottom connect to your computer. And again, this is a straight cable right from here to a USB-A port on your computer. To the right of that is an infrared in port. It's a three and a half millimeter port that's used with the infrared extender block. You'll plug it in here. You can locate that outside of your cabinet for picking up the infrared remote control signals. The RS-232 port connects up to the cable if you'd like to control this over software. You can also connect it up over the TCP IP network if you'd like to do that on your local network and control which of these is attached to which computer. Finally, you'll find a DC input port right there, and that's used for the power supply. You'll obviously plug that into a wall outlet. The barrel connector plugs in right there, and you can tighten the collar so it doesn't pop out. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. 
And for this demonstration, over here I've set up my laptop that's connected to this monitor so you can see what's happening. Over here I have a collection of peripherals that I use both with my home computers and with my work computer, a keyboard and mouse setup that's wireless, as well as an external NVMe drive that I use for storage. In front of me I have the UKM404. Now the first connection I'll make is from my laptop to the device. I've already plugged the USB cable into the laptop. The other end of that plugs in any one of the four host ports on the back. Now remember, you can use up to four computers and four peripherals at the same time. I actually have four computers at home, so I use this thing an awful lot. And now I'm ready to connect up the peripherals. I have a wireless dongle from the keyboard and mouse. I'll plug that into device number one. And the NVMe drive plugs into device number three. And now we're all ready to add power. I've already plugged the power supply in. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it. And that plugs right into the DC port in the back of the unit. And the minute I do that, the unit starts an internal power on self-test. You have to listen to the laptop because once it, there it is right there, once it comes online, the laptop now knows that there are peripherals external that it's going to connect to. It's going to take a second or two for those peripherals to be recognized by the computer, but we should see the drive show up. There it is right there. And we should also see the mouse. You can see that I'm controlling the mouse. Now, to show you how easy it is to switch between computers, I'll take device number three right here and I'll move that to host number two. Now, there's nothing plugged in there but that E drive should disappear. There it is. So what I've done effectively is move this NVMe drive from the laptop to computer number three. And again, if that's one of my home computers, I can easily move data to it, move it back to the laptop, and then move that data from the NVMe drive to the laptop. So what this product does essentially is it digitally connects four computers to four peripherals and gives you complete control over which of those peripherals are connected to which of those computers at any given time using those buttons on the front or the infrared remote control or even through software through the GUI. So an incredibly easy product to use and it's going to come in really handy especially if you're working from home. I hope that closer look and demonstration were helpful. Now here are a few things that I really like about the O-Ray UKM-404 that you can use to compare it to other USB matrix products you may be considering. But before I get into that, I'd like to explain why a product like this can be really helpful if you work from home. Now normally you've got a computer at home and you use that for all of your internet surfing and your purchasing and talking to friends on Zoom. But if you work for a company, they normally give you a laptop or a tablet or some other portable device that you'll use when you're working for that company. And the challenge is, you probably have a collection of USB devices that you use with your computer. Things like microphones or cameras or maybe a keyboard and mouse combination or even an external USB drive that you store information on. And you have to move those between your home computer and your work computer all the time. And the challenge is, you can certainly plug and unplug a bunch of USB cables, but over time, you're going to wear out the ports, you're going to break the cables, and generally it's a real hassle because a lot of computers require a reboot to recognize that device, or if you've got to suspend the device on one computer and move it to another computer, you're on your knees behind your computer trying to find an open port. So a product like this sits in the middle between those peripherals and your computers and everything is connected to it, and with the touch of a button, you can assign any of those peripherals to any of the computers that are connected to the product. So it's sort of a digital traffic cop between your peripherals and your computers that allows you to seamlessly move those peripherals where needed. So if you're working from home, maybe you're surfing the net and you're using your microphone and your camera, and you gotta jump on a work call, you can push a button and move the microphone and camera to your laptop, and then do your call, and then jump back to your home computer. So it's an incredibly, I don't know, productive device to have in between between your computers and your peripherals. All right, so what separates the O-Ray product from a lot of other products on the market? Well, for starters, it's a four input, four output. A lot of other USB matrix products are two inputs, maybe two outputs if you're lucky. And even though you may only have two computers today, knowing you can connect four computers up and four peripherals up gives you a lot of flexibility later on if you decide to add a third computer or maybe a tablet or something else that you'll connect through USB. Another big difference between them is that this fully supports the USB 3.0 Generation 1 standard, which is the latest standard for USB, and all the new peripherals adhere to that standard. It's also backward compatible with older versions of USB, so if you've got an older keyboard or mouse or camera, it'll work just fine with the product. Another nice feature they built in was the infrared extension. The infrared is nice as well, but having this infrared extension block means you can put this someplace where you can't actually see it, as long as this block is visible, it can pick up the remote control signals from that remote control and allow you to control it through the actual IR. 
You can also use the buttons on the front of the unit if it's sitting on your desk, but if you've got this in a wiring closet or it's someplace else in a rack that you're not close to, you'll want to use the remote control. And if it's behind something that's opaque, like a glass door or maybe a wooden door, you can't actually use the remote control. So that extension is really nice. I also love the fact that you can control it through software. Now, that's not a normal thing for most of the customers that use it, but it is great that you can control it through RS-232, and it's got a built-in interface that's really easy to use that allows you to make those selections from a computer. So, Oray's a company that built some really solid products, and this is a product that will come in incredibly handy if you're working from home. It just makes things so much easier moving those peripherals between your computers. And that's pretty much all I had today. So hopefully you found this review helpful. And as always, until next time, <laughs> stay nerdy.